we were just having this debate off camera, and I said, oh, we got to turn the camera on and have this debate now. So I made them shut up so I could ask them this very question. I'm going to start with you, Wendy. I'm going to just ask it open-ended. What is the real cost of security? What should companies be spending on a year-to-year -year basis for security? You know, we have no frickin' idea. <laughs> because uh, I, I did research on this when I was at 451, and I asked a bunch of security professionals. I gave them a hypothetical. I said, it's my first day on the job in a 1,000-person organization. They've never done security before. What should I buy? And I got so many different answers. Some people named four technologies, some people named 31. And you can imagine that was a bank who, you know, someone who worked at a bank who named 31 different technologies. Nobody can agree. What do you think, Daniel? Yeah, so this is one of the core problems of security is when you're a vendor and you're building a product or something like that, or it's your first day and you're coming in, um, you know, you, you don't know what to expect. Everything's new. You know, the vendor can't tune the product to work with what you have. Uh, when they don't know it, what what you have, you know, so something that's uh, a big deal and an alert and, and an incident in one company, another company doesn't care about. It. It's a false positive. You know, they they don't want to see that, you know, because they 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 do things differently. Yeah. And the other thing that I I just said at a talk yesterday is that um, generally vendors and everybody else tends to assume that every organization is in an Olympic sized swimming pool, the same kind, when really they're, sh they're sailing the open seas. And everybody says, well, you know, that's really nice what that solution does, but what about the Kraken? And they go, what? What, what do you mean Kraken? Every organization has a security Kraken that everybody knows about. It's a huge problem. You have to deal with it. It's not going away. So that, that's the problem. We, we, you know, we don't know how to deal with the Krakens. So here's the part that I thought was interesting is that the company spends a million dollars every year, does not get breached, and are they wasting their money a million dollars a year, but then yeah. the third year? So could I have not spent the first two million dollars and only spent the third one million? What, how does that work? Uh, so that, that's, a, that's another one of the core issues that I think is solvable, and the vendors can solve it for their products. I think enterprises need to solve it for themselves, but we need feedback loops. We need some way of knowing that a product is working. You know, a lot of these products, I, as we were, we were talking about earlier, you could pull the power plug out of the back of it in the data center, and somebody might not know until months later, you know, because the only time it talks to you is when something bad happens. So you're sitting there assuming, well, nothing bad's happening. You know, I saw, you know, I've heard of cases where, you know, you have an IDS, IPS, something like that, been plugged into the wrong port on the switch for years and has almost no visibility over the network. It's supposed to be seeing 5,000 servers. It's only seeing five. You know, so it, that kind of thing. We need some kind of feedback loops to make sure that what we assume is happening and what we want to be uh, controlled and, and and see and and you know detect threats on is actually what's there. So you have to do some kind of attack simulation, some kind of regular testing. You know, every time you do the generator maintenance and you turn everything off, you know, run those tests and make sure it's back on. What about the the whole theory of like I want to know quote how secure I am today and having some kind of a dashboard to say the health of the organization. Does that actually provide any sort of valuable insight or is that are we just kind of fooling ourselves with little pretty bells and whistles? Well, it's all based on opinion. So a long time ago, the head of equities trading came to me and said, if I plug this in, how much more insecure are we going to be? And I said, I don't know, five. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's very hard to do that. So when you have a dashboard, you're either relying on your own opinion and your own estimation on what the probability is of a breach based on the settings you see, or it's somebody else's opinion, usually the vendor who programmed it to begin with, but it is still an opinion. It's very, very hard to get down to objective truth again because organizations are so different. Uh, going back to what Adrian said, I think it would be very useful and some of the most mature companies that I've seen do this is they look at the headlines and they learn about breaches and they go, what would this look like in our organization? And then you see if you can test for that. Yeah, That's a good, uh, your theory on that? And, and there is an emerging market there. The attack simulation market is working hard to find a way without having to pay a $40,000 pen test. Uh, you can take some of these real breaches that have happened and say, hey, let's launch the target breach today. Let's launch the Home Depot. Um, and you simulate, maybe not the whole thing, but pieces that we know about it uh, in such a way that uh, you can do it in production, uh, not worry about uh, knocking anything over or doing, you know, uh, disrupting production, 
uh, and, and you get some real feedback. Like you're, you know, these tests are done in a way uh, where there's little risk and your tools should start alerting you, you know, like they would if there were a, a real attack. And that's something you can take back and say, how secure are we today? Well, we just failed the target breach and that was 2000. Uh, 14? 13, 13, 2013, yeah, so four-year-old uh, event, you know, well-known, uh, we still fail that. So I think that's a good advice. So best test for your security is test yourself against what's happening right now, yes? Right now, the only time we get tested is when the bad thing happens. And that's, that's once you've waited that long, it's, it's too late.